Hello and welcome to Emma's ESL English. Today we have another famous birthday. Yay! I will put some of the other birthday episodes in the cards and um, at the end I'll put a link as well. You might wonder why do I keep doing these birthday episodes or or like the like the space episode um, last week. Um, it may seem a bit random, but there is logic. It's not just for listening practice. The people that I talk about are usually culturally relevant in some way, whether it's in American culture, English culture, generally, or in international culture. So uh, they, it's good if you know about them. <laughs> it's basically what I'm saying. It's good if you know about them. If you're chatting with your colleagues, they might come up in conversation or you could bring them up in conversation if you found them interesting and gone and done your own research or watched a movie with them or something like that then there can be a good talking point as well. So if you have anyone that you'd like me to feature, then please feel free to let me know. You can email me at emmaslesl.english at gmail.com or you can put it in the comments if you're on YouTube. I would like to do some more international English people who've had an impact internationally that maybe I don't know about. Um, so yeah, cool. If you have any ideas, then please let me know. So. Today we're going to talk about Ma Rainey. Um, some of you might have heard this name before. Viola Davis recently portrayed her in the 2020 movie Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Um, other than that movie and sort of outside Black American culture, she's not really been very famous. But just because someone isn't famous doesn't mean they're not influential. Amma Rainey was massively influential in her time, not only in black history and in music, but in American music generally. So, who's Ma Rainey? <laughs> Born on April 26th, 1886, Gertrude Melissa Nix Pridget was born in Columbus, Georgia. So that's in the Southern American states. Her parents were performers, so it's kind of only natural that she became a performer too. She traveled all over mid and Southern America, performing for both white, black and segregated audiences. Rainey has been called the mother of the blues. Remember blues is traditionally a black historic, historical music that came from slavery times. Um, so she's brought the blues and the vaudeville together and vaudeville music in America was kind of a light popular entertainment. In the UK we would call them variety shows and they've got magicians, acrobats, comedians, dancers, singers and they all travel around together putting on shows to entertain people. Remember the first demonstration of TV was 1927 so people had to like go outside to get their entertainment in the past. Uh, what I'll do is I'll try and pause periodically through this episode so that later I can put some of the music in so you kind of get a, a hearing, a listening opportunity. And I'll also link to the music somewhere. I'm just learning how to do this bit. It's very exciting, but a little confusing. Okay, pause. According to the Women's History Museum, Ma Rainey was known for her gold teeth, her flashy clothing, her jewelry, and her moaning style of music or singing, um, and also for establishing a personal connection with her audiences. Cue moaning style uh, singing. But it was hard to be a performer in the early 1900s in America especially for black performers who were often treated and paid badly. In 1923, she signed a record contract with Paramount Records. And over the next five years, she recorded almost 100 records, including one with Louis Armstrong. She wrote her own songs, which often talked about heartbreak, depression, and many other challenges of life. She had a massive impact on blues, and on many singers of her time. 
such as one of my favorites, Dinah Washington. I'm mad about the boy. And Janis Joplin. Won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? In addition, as an openly bisexual woman who sang about her relationships and celebrated women's right to conduct themselves expansively, in the words of Angela Davis, a scholar, she became a cultural, well, I think hats, like now, in modern times, she's become a cultural icon for Black women and for the LGBTQ community. Ma Rainey uh, continued to tour for most of her life and sing, and eventually moved back to Georgia, where she managed two theatres. She died at 53 in 1939. If you would like to know more about Ma Rainey, I would suggest you watch the movie, as I mentioned, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Um, I will link to that a trailer to that somewhere. And I've also covered several other black women in the podcast before. Most recently, we talked about Maya Angelou. Um, and we've also covered um, a little bit of um, black racial cultural stuff in the um, women's week, International Women's Week podcast episodes. Um, so I'll link to those episodes too. And that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want to, join the Facebook group and we can talk about this more there or you can ask any questions you have or whatever. It's just a little short episode this week. But maybe once I put the music in, it'll be a little longer. Eh, cool. Anyway, okay, see you all next week. Bye!